Hi and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Here we're going to have a look at how to master for iTunes. Now what this means is that um, they have a, an encoding system for streaming and so does Spotify and some of the other streaming services that uh, brings down the uh, mastering so that it's not too loud. Before I get into this video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, always very useful, that's what keeps the, uh, the algorithm happy. Anyway, so let's jump straight in. There's a tool in Logic, a plugin called the, here it is, it's the AU Roundtrip AAC plugin, right? This comes with Logic. Now you can download this at this address from Apple. It's free and it works in all major doors. So uh, you can use this as well in any other DAW. And um, so what this does is it gives you the readout it, what, what would happen when they encode the track itself. So usually I've got a master, when I do mastering, if you go and have a look at my tutorial, how to master a track, you'll see how I do that. I've got my plugins here and I've got the limiter here. And I usually have this hitting about, I give it a margin on minus 0 0.3. So. Check it out. I've got quite a good RMS here and I've got an output of minus 0.3, which is great. And, uh, you know, that's perfect. Send that off as a master, no worries. But if you listen to this here, if you switch this on and then you play it and then you see the version that's encoded. So basically you have source and encoded. So we want the encoded version to come through and show us what the readings are. And here we're going to see the intersample readings as well. Check it out. So, as you can see, I'm getting a plus 0.6 here reading, as you can see here, and uh, it's over. And we've got these intersamples here. This is what an intersample is. This means that. Uh, when it goes back out through the digital analog converter, this is the reading you're getting. It doesn't necessarily distort, but it will distort sometimes when you convert it to an MP3. That's why when you convert to an MP3 file, it bangs it up to zero. Even if your output here originally is at minus 0.3, it bangs it to zero. And that can distort if you've got these intersamples that are way too loud. Now, this uh, mastering plugin here, uh, this is a free limitical number six. It's one of the best limiters I've ever seen. It's better than the L2. It's better than most of the, the, the limiters that come with doors. It's really, really good. Now, I only use the clipper here, and I'm going to use the protection, right? And I've used the compression as well And um, in my setup. So I've got the compressor here to start with, here in my lineup. Then I have a console EQ. Yeah, then I have the linear EQ for doing cutting out for certain frequencies the linear EQ then I have a stereo widener and a, a, a safe base that puts everything under 60 well 60 64 around 60 in mono for when you're in clubs you haven't got any problems with your bass under 60 hertz and uh, that is a free plugging as well and then here I've got the uh, on my actual stereo output as you can see, it's gone over here. I've got the multimeter here, the loudness reader, and then I've got this. So here you've got protection. If you put the protection on and then bring it down slightly to about seven, right? Even if you were at seven, it'll still be over like this. Check it out. Even at 0 0.6, it's still distorting. So let's put it at here where it is the ISP protection so we put this one on here and uh, let's try this now so let's reset and now let's try this check it out just like this take it down a little bit So it's just clipping slightly here. We can take it down a little bit more 
to minus nine, okay? Now remember, this will be beefed up to zero, you know, so even if your master is at minus 0.8, it doesn't really matter, especially with a good limiter, you won't really hear the difference. So if I reset that, that should do it now. Check it out. So I got that at minus 0.9. So as you see, as you can see, I push this slightly here, plus four, right? And check it out. And and the loudness is pretty good. That's probably about the same as when I've got it at, mm, at minus 0.3 here with this at zero and this at, at minus 0.3 it's probably about the same loudness uh, without the protection on so if you lose a, a limiter that hasn't got ISP protection in it the limiter that comes with uh, Logic does it has protection uh, so that's pretty good so yeah this this plugin is pretty useful if you want to have the maximum amount of sound when it's been streamed on services uh, because then you know that at least it's going out without any clipping the intersample peak values are not over hooked and uh, then you're, you're safe um, especially if you're using a, a limiter like this where you can actually push the output slightly it won't crunch because it's a very good limiter and you've got the protection that keeps it under the radar as far as these clips are concerned so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe and uh, i will see you soon Thank you.